Hey YouTube family, it's Dina Collada again and I'm super excited today. I want to talk about Canva and we're going to have a little competition between Canva Free and Canva Pro. And is it worth it to switch over? Is it worth it for that extra bill? For me, using it as a professional business owner, I say yes. But the free version is amazing and it has tons of benefits. And I'm going to go back and forth and talk about a few of the pros and cons to the pro and the free version. So let's do a little side by side. First, I'm going to talk about the free forever. It's free forever. That's what they say. I think they're going to stick to it because they have a lot of customers anyway. So the free version gets 250,000 plus free templates, whereas the pro has everything, but also a hundred plus million stock photos, videos, audio, and graphics. The free one has 100 design types. The pro version has 610,000 plus premium and free templates with each um, with the pro version and it has new designs every day. The free one has hundreds and thousands, hundreds of thousands of free photos and graphics but the pro has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of free pro premium graphics pictures and all that stuff. The free version, you can invite members to your team. Um, and let's see, you can also save designs as templates for your team to use with the pro version. Um, with the free version, you can collaborate and comment in real life with people on your team. But in the pro version, you can, for $12.99 a month, you can collaborate with one to five people. So you can have five people working on the same design at the same time from different devices all over the world. Now, if you want to have 10, 15, 50 people on your team, of course, it will cost more for each grade, each upgrade that you do. The free forever has five gigabytes of cloud storage. The pro version, however, has 100 gigabytes of storage. So you can save thousands of videos, pictures, templates, social media posts with the, with the pro version. And with the pro, you can also schedule social media content to eight different platforms. So if you're big into social media and you want to grow your business, it's really easy to schedule things from Canva instead of having to pay for a completely separate scheduler. So I've used different schedulers in my life and there's some that I really love, but I've paid upwards of $50 a month just to be able to schedule social media posts from their platforms. But with Canva, you can create the designs, you can create videos, you've got uh, audio files you can do, you can do animated GIFs with the pro version. So in, I'm very excited because you can try Canva Pro for free for 30 days. There's a link in the comments and the description. So if you want to check it out, you can even just use it all for 30 days and then you can cancel your plan and not have to pay a penny. All right, so now I'm going to walk through step by step the differences and the benefits that I love about having a pro account. So I'm excited for you to try it out and to see if it's a good fit for you. And I'll see you in the next segment. All right, I'm back again. I'm on a different screen here and I want to show you guys the things that I love about Canva Pro. So we're going to go in here and hit create a design. Let's see. Oh, and remember there's a link in the comments. You can sign up for the free version, which is zero dollars forever or the pro version. It says here is up to one. It's one nineteen ninety nine a year or you can pay monthly and only pay twelve ninety nine a month. So you can use it for one month or two months, cancel it, and then use the free version. It's up to you. So I'm gonna go up here and do create a design. Um, and I wanna show you some of the benefits that are amazing with this pro version. All right, first of all, there are templates. Templates galore, there's back to school, COVID stuff, business stuff, and let's see. You can um, shrink it down really easily there, but I want to look at the templates a little bit more. So these are not branded templates that I'm using. These are just ones that are already created in Canva and look how gorgeous that is. 
you have gorgeous templates in the free version, but with the pro, you're going to have a lot more choices. All right. So one of the things that I love, love, love about the Canva, the Canva Pro is you can remove uh, background images. So we have this picture here with all of these people and it's pretty crazy background there's lots of lines so all I have to do to remove the background is click on the image I want to remove the background on click edit image and then I go over to the beach ball background remover button here you click it it does its little thing and check it out the wheel is spinning and it's actually pretty fast but I'm really excited, so it seems like kind of a long time to make this happen. But that's a pretty complicated picture. I mean, look at all these tiny lines and the people's fingers. Look at that. The whole background is removed, and it looks perfect. How cool is that? I love it. Another thing you can do is resize really quickly. Magic resize with the click of a button. So we have this poster here. It's 18 by 24. Let's say we want to turn it into a Facebook post. We easily go here and click Facebook posts and you can click copy and resize and it's going to pop it up. Well, let's see. I'm going to click Facebook posts, copy and resize here. There it goes. It's opening it up in a new tab with the new Facebook post size instead. So you can see it's not perfect because there are a lot of different size elements here. So you can easily grab the things that you need to move around to make things fit into the Facebook post. So let's pop this out, show you how quickly that's done. We're going to move the people to the back so we can grab this little red block. We'll move the text over here. And let's actually just move this up here. Not perfect in a design uh, sense, but hey, it looks pretty good and it only took about 30 seconds. Okay, so you can also do resizes in a different way. You can click this little button here if you want to choose your dimensions. Like let's make it 100 pixels by 100 pixels. Click copy and resize and it's going to pop open these tabs here. One with your old size and one with the new size, which is 100 by 100. And the cool thing about it is up in the title here, it tells you how big it is. So it'll say, you know, new resize, 100 by 100. And let's see here. We're going to click this and you can also click resize and it'll keep the image as is on the same page instead of opening another tab. So let's go ahead and do a logo that's 500 by 500. So let's see. I'm going to do one. Let's see. Then I'm going to do, uh, sorry, I got confused there. Let's make it into a logo size. So we only can have one checkbox clicked. And then you click resize, and it's going to resize that page or that flyer on that page. It didn't, however, change this to 500 by 500 because it, it's the same file, so it kept the same name. All right, another thing you can do, uh, let's see, when you download, if uh, you want to download something that has a transparent background, it's called a PNG. The pro version allows you to download files with a transparent background. And you might wonder why this is important. Well, if you have a logo, let's go over here in to my brand folder. This is another thing. Oops. I want to go over here to my logos. So you can see here, this logo has a background on it. So if I put that on top of, boy, that came out really weird. Okay, that didn't work out. Oh, okay, it's, it's doing some funky stuff here. So you can see it keeps the background. 
So when I put my logo on my old logo on top of this red block, it still has the white box around it, the white rectangle. So if I want to remove that, I want to download it as a PNG so it looks like this instead of having a white background on it. It looks a lot slicker, right? So that's another one of my favorite things that I have about, um, that I love about Canva Pro. So I'll show you how that works. Let's go ahead, we're gonna go back to the home button. And then we're gonna create a, let's create a logo real quick. So let's make a logo and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Let's look at some templates. Okay, they've got some pretty nice ones here. Let's scroll, th scroll through. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna use this one because it has a color in the background. So I wanna change these colors here. Let's make it red. Let's make it my initials. Okay, let's see how that looks. Oh, that's way too big. Ha. Let's just put copywriter. Perfect. Okay, so copywriter. That looks pretty snazzy, right? So I'm gonna grab, click and grab both of these elements, the DC and the words copywriter. Make it a little bigger to fill up the entire space, or at least a lot of the space. Now you can see this background isn't white, it's like this kind of faded pink color. Now I wanna download it as a PNG file, and I'm gonna click transparent background, and then click download. So let's check this picture out again. So you can see here the pink, oops, the pink is gone and it's left only the red and the black letters. So then let's go to uploads and I'll show you what I mean. Let's upload, oh, here it is. Let's upload that logo that we just created and let's try to put it onto a different um, graphic in Canva. So we're gonna go back home and let's say I wanna do an Instagram post and I wanna put my logo on top of that. So we can go straight here. Let's pick out a nice uh, simple post. I like this one, that looks pretty snazzy. So then let's go to the upload tab on the left. Grab my logo. Look at that, there's no pink background to distract from the logo. It's just the logo itself. So that's why transparent files are really important to have when you're doing graphic design. So we can also, comp instead of just transparent backgrounds, you can also compress your files. So if you wanna make it smaller, you can make it a smaller file. That's especially important if you want to increase your speed time, like page loading time on your website, because you don't wanna have a 3,000 by 3,000 pixel wide image when you can make it, you know, 1,500 or 1,800. And it will still look the same size online as it will in a bigger size. And it'll also save a ton of time when somebody's trying to look at your web page. So you can save these or you can just leave them as is. And I like being able to easily resize them with this slider tab on the download. So this image here is 540, so I can slide that over to make it 1080 by 1080, slide it again at 1620 by 1620. You can two times it, two and a half times it, and all the way up to three times the size. So then you can just download it. And you can also, another benefit, is you can share it with people on your team. So I'm the owner here, 
and you can make it editable for people that you share it with or you can make it just viewable so you can say hey look how cool my design is you can't touch it because it's already perfect how it is so those are some of the benefits to using Canva Pro and you can also do a brand kit in Canva Pro too but that's a little more in depth and I'm not going to get into that in this video so I hope this video has been helpful if you want more Canva tech tips copywriting and business tips please click the bell to subscribe to my channel leave any comments or questions you have and like my channel. I probably said that three times. So anyway, if you want to check out Canva Pro, check out the link in the description or the comments, click on that and you can try it for free for 30 days. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.